T-accounts are how accountants keep track of debits and credits for a business. Each account for the company will have its own T-table that looks like the example below. It makes the shape of a T with debits on the left side and credits on the right side. Let's recap what debits and credits are. Debits and credits are part of double entry accounting. Transactions need to be recorded twice, once as a debit and once as a credit. Let's look at some examples of how that works. On the balance sheet, debits and credits mean different things for different types of accounts. Let's look at what we mean in closer detail. On the asset section of the balance sheet, debits represent an increase in value and credits a decrease in value. For liabilities, it's the opposite. Debits represent a decrease in value and credits an increase. And in the third section, the shareholder's equity portion, debits represent a decrease and credits an increase. If you think about the formula assets equals liabilities plus shareholder's equity, you can think about why these are the way they are. Now let's look at what they are on the income statement. The income statement has revenues, expenses, gains, and losses. Revenues are recorded as a debit if they decrease in value and a credit if they increase in value. On the expenses side is the opposite. A debit is an increase and a credit is a decrease. Now let's look at how we can put all of the accounts together. Here we have the balance sheet, assets, liabilities, and shareholders equity. Below that, there is also additional paid in capital and retained earnings. And then we have the income statement, the revenues, expenses, and dividends for the business. So we can map out where every transaction would be recorded, and we know if it's going to be a debit or a credit, and it's going to be an increase or a decrease depending on the account. Let's look at a specific example now to make the point. Imagine that a company issues equity shares for 500000 Let's look at how it would be recorded. There are two transactions, as we mentioned. A debit to cash, which is an increase in cash, that's the proceeds the company receives from issuing the equity. And on the balance sheet, there is a credit to common shares of 500000 Remember, the balance sheet always has to balance. So by debiting cash 500000 and crediting common shares 500000 the balance sheet continues to balance.